Hello, this is a video to demonstrate what can be seen when testing on multiple strips of the same cylinder, uh, how we can calibrate despite the values being different in different locations and still find the liquid level successfully. This particular cylinder is FM200 and uh, in this, as you will see, the high readings appear below the liquid level. So first we place the sensor on and we observe the reading. We go down in steps, observing the, uh, the overall reading. As we can see so far, we had low readings above and higher readings below. Because the change is quite large, what I'm going to do is calibrate in the average high region. So it's about here. The average high reading is because I found readings which were quite quite a bit larger than this, closer to 2000s and uh, around 1000. So it's around the, the mid high region. As I move the sensor up, observing the bar graph until it disappears. As you can see, as we've passed the liquid level, which on the cylinder happens to be around about the uh, above this the sticky, as you can see there, the bar graph has disappeared. Here it is, uh, just below and just above. So that's how we found the liquid level on this particular strip. I'm now going to move to this uh, side of the cylinder and uh, see what we get. Again, we place, this, uh, we place the sensor on and observe the reading. Uh, as we've seen before, it's quite low below. Keep moving down, we can see that the uh, values have increased, uh, as we've seen on the other side. On this side of the cylinder, the values uh, aren't quite as high as they were uh, on the other side. But they're still considerably higher than they are above the liquid level. So I'm getting readings of around 1,000, 1,100, and about 700. So I look to calibrate around 7, 800. Press Cal there. As I move the sensor up in steps, once I reach the gas section, the bar graph is gone. Bar graph is full just before the liquid level. Bar graph is empty just above it, as you can see, around the top of the sticker as it was on this side. So we had two different uh, sets of readings there. Generally, overall, they were lower on this side than they were this side, but they were still higher below uh, than they were above, uh, same on this side here. All we did is adjust where we calibrated in order to find the same liquid level. In terms of the position that I calibrated on this side, it was around about this section here, which is where I found the average high reading. Uh, on this section, the average high reading was about here. So they're in different sections uh, in, in relation to each other, but that does not uh, matter in this case. What matters is where you've calibrated. And in this case, which it was the average high reading. So I hope this helps.